Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Polkadex. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. So on the daily, on the weekly chart uh, right now, we are above the 20 EMA, which is bullish. We are in an uptrend on the weekly chart. That is always good. On the RSI, we're still sitting in the middle. So I would start thinking of taking profits if you're looking for long-term gains once we get to this overbought area on the RSI. Because that is when you're going to start coming up to this overbought. And this is just one of the signals that's going to, you know, hopefully make you think like, hmm, uh, this, this asset is, is very overbought and maybe I should start taking profits. And Polkadex is one of the projects that I'm currently uh, trading in my trading series from $500 to $5,000. And we do have a target at $30 and at $40. So if you're, if you're, you know, with me in that trading series, then, you know, hopefully we're going to get there by, by uh, early September. But uh, because we do have a main net for Polkadex in September, that's why we are in this little accumulation phase for the project. But other than that, uh, it is it is very bullish. I do think Polkadex is doing is going to do very well. Now jumping into the daily chart, and I'm going to bring back the drawings. Okay, and where was that? So on the larger um, on the larger you know grand scheme of things, you can see that I have this fib up all the way from this bottom swing low all the way to this swing high over here actually uh, it was supposed to be something like this i do apologize so okay now right now what we're doing is we're breaking the 618 and this is very good 618 the 0 0.618 is the most important fib level and once you break it once you break this 618 and you open up above it back test as support you're clear for taking out new technical targets because once you break resistance you have targets to the upside and this doesn't mean that you're going to get to those targets in one big green candle that would be unhealthy even if that did happen realistically that never happens uh you're going to get there in waves you're going to get there slowly but surely hopefully without getting too parabolic but I think with the mainnet, we might get a bit parabolic with Polkadex. So be ready to take some profits. Uh, drop this Fibonacci retracement on your charts from this low over here all the way to this high over here. And then we have, the, we have been in a, in a slow decline ever since that high. And we are forming a bullish pattern on the four hourly chart. We're forming a bearish pattern on the four hourly chart as well. But, you know, we're, we're going to see. We're going to see. Uh, we're gonna jump into the into the into the patterns just in a bit, but one thing that I do want to see is we do have still a couple of hours until we open up a new candle, and if we open up a new daily and weekly candle above the six one eight, that is very bullish. That is one of the most bullish signals we're gonna get for an uptrend, because yes, we are a bit overextended, and ideally, what I want to see is a bit of consolidation on this zero six one eight, but. With the main net coming, like I said, we can get extremely parabolic. But we are far away from the 20 EMA on the daily chart. The 20 EMA is currently sitting at $18.40. So this would be a nice place to get some Polkadex tokens if you wish so. Uh, also, we do have this support line over here of this rising wedge potentially that we're forming. You know, it's still not, you know, 100% rising wedge, but. It does seem like we might be getting ourselves into a rising wedge. If we continue trading in this little upwards tightening channel, then we are doomed to come back down all the way to the levels where we formed the, the, rising, we uh, the rising wedge initially. So, yeah, keep that in mind. I'm going to show you that uh, on, the, on the four hourly chart in a bit, but I don't want to drag this on for too long. So on the daily chart, you can see on the RSI, we have been adhering to this trend line, this support trend line that's keeping us safe. And sooner or later, we're just going to break down from it because we are overbought on the RSI. So potentially, if you have been buying at $10, where I have been showing you, uh, where I actually personally bought in, 
on the trading series, then right now is a perfect place to take some profits more than doubled your money already. So don't be greedy. It's good to take profits over here because sooner or later the RSI is going to come back down. And what I'm looking for is a bounce off of this support trend line over here because you can see that uh, we did test it as resistance once, almost twice, and three times over here. So this resistance has now turned this into support. And if you see the RSI losing this support trend line that we have, this horizontal support trend line, and we do come back down and we do bounce off this RSI, then once you see a bounce, that is one of the best places to put some bits into Polkadex. So just keep this in mind. Draw this out on your charts. This is very important. This is the daily chart. This is the RSI on the daily chart. So draw these trend lines out. They're going to help you out. If you see a bounce off of here, you know, not a financial advisor, but at, at the index of seven, of 60, that is where you want to put in some, some bits into Polkadex. But let's jump into some other indicators on the daily chart. I do want to show you the stochastic RSI. So as you can see, the stochastic RSI has been uh, overextended to the upside a bit and we have come back down, but we haven't fully come back down yet. As you can see, we haven't made this wave down. So potentially that is what, what's on the table. If we have a little impulsive wave, but it's going to be a lower high and we drop back down, that is potentially when you're going to see the bounce on the RSI. And that is when you're going to see the bounce on the 20 EMA on the daily chart which, to be honest with you, would be completely healthy. On the daily chart, the MACD is getting overextended, as you can see, to the upside. We're above the histogram. The signal line is getting a bit overextended from the moving average. So a bearish cross would not be out of the question. And a MACD, a bearish cross on the MACD, would happen only after the price action would have corrected, you know? So the price would have gone down by the time we have a bearish cross on the MACD. So the bearish cross on the MACD would be a confirmation of the downtrend. So, you know, th that's just something to keep in mind. Don't think that the MACD is... Uh, the EMAs are not, a, are not lagging indicators. Basically, the, the MACD is a lagging indicator. So, uh, yeah. All right, uh, let's jump into the four hourly chart and I'm going to show you the patterns that I have spotted. So on the four hourly chart, currently on the RSI, we're not doing too bad. But uh, by the way, by the way, by the way, I do apologize. I did want to show you something as well. So I think, yeah, okay. Uh, we do have a bearish divergence on the four hourly chart as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, I'm just going to show you. So on the RSI, we're making a lower high, as you can see over here. And on the price action, we're making a higher high. This means that the price is moving forward. That's good, but the strength of the trend is losing steam. Basically, the bulls are running out of steam and the bears are going to take over, basically. So this is another, you know, little factor that you want to counter in the bearish divergence on the daily chart. The higher the time frame or the, the larger the time frame, the more, uh, the more impact it will have on the price action. And as you can see, we do have this little cup and handle building up on the on the daily chart. And this rising wedge potentially took, you know, maybe at least two weeks to build up. But this rising wedge, uh, I do apologize, uh, the rising wedge took a bit, uh, a couple of days, let's say, yeah, around 10 days. But this cup and handle pattern actually took, uh, what it was? 97 days to play out so this cup and handle pattern is a lot stronger than the rising wedge than the bearish rising wedge so the the rising wedge may not even play out we may even invalidate it and i'm going to show you how we can do that on the four hourly chart because that's a bit easier to see so basically on the four hourly chart the rsi is sitting on the index of 60 we're not overbought. If you see it coming up on the four hourly over here, that that's when you want to take profit and just buy back in when you come back to this to this lower zone. The trend lines on the RSI are for the daily chart only. Okay, now let's get back into the price action. So as you can see here, we are in this in this kind of upper channel. This is called a rising wedge. 
And the target, the technical target from that rising wedge is basically where you formed. And this is where you formed the rising wedge. This level, the 236 on the FIB, that is $10.94. So that is uh, a bit a bit of a correction, I would say, it, you know, at least a 50% correction for Polkadex, which is not out of the question. Obviously, Bitcoin can, you know, dump in September because we do anticipate a little dump in September that could affect some altcoins. Hopefully that won't happen, but hey, you know, we can't predict the future. We only can expect what's coming. And this is the cup that we're talking about. And this is the handle. And the breakout target from this cup and handle is basically the, the resistance trend line from the cup. You take a trend line to the very bottom of the, of the cup and you place it on the resistance where the breakout happens and the breakout happens after you have formed the handle as you can see once you hit this resistance for the second time you come back down for a retracement and then for another impulsive wave and this impulsive wave has a technical target of $45.70 which I think is going to give even more confluence to our targets over here above us at $78.11 because you, by this point, you would have um, made a higher high from these highs over here. So we have peaked out at $40 straight. And if we, you know, carry out this technical target to the upside, we're basically making a higher high. And that's a bullish signal towards more potential uptrend. And, and you know, getting to that $77 uh, would be, you know, even a lot more easier if, if you know, if this cup and handle plays out perfectly. But, you know, Bitcoin can always affect something. Uh, I do want to give you this nice buying zone over here, just in case we do end up uh, dropping down. So if we go back to the daily chart. Okay. And one thing I also want to do is draw out another little fib retracement. Uh, just like this. Okay, and I'm going to remove that one. Okay, as you can see, swing low to swing high over here. This is the high. This we went back down, bounced off the 0 0.618, and now we're starting another impulsive wave. And potentially our target right now is $30.92. And I'm just gonna give you a nice buying zone. So these are two fibs. Uh, you know, I, I do have two fibs, so it might be a little bit confusing, but bear with me. So this is the 618 level on the larger fib and this is the 618 on this smaller fib that I just drew and we bounced off the 618 on the smaller fib so potentially we're never coming back down there potentially obviously we will come back down there at some point but right now we are very bullish on Polkadex so what I'm going to do right now is give you this rectangle the support zone so even right now you're still good uh, Actually, I do apologize. I drew it up. not exactly how I wanted to. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the 0 0.5 on the larger fib. And that is pretty much where the 20 EMA is on the daily chart. And that's where the 618 is on the smaller fib. So that's just a strong, super strong support level. $18.30. And... $20.97. So you can just dollar cost average into this. And you know, that's that's one way to do it. So if we just remove that fib, you can see this rising wedge also is, is a confluence to the fact that we're coming back down to this level. And you know, we do have the 786 at $21.10. And you know, we, we may just bounce off that level. But you know, there's some targets uh, to the downside, some targets to the upside. But overall, I think we're super bullish on Polkadex. Just, you know, have some sell orders and have some buy orders at the same time because we do have a lot of targets. And I would say that, you know, this uh, target to the upside is a lot more likely to carry out before we have that massive correction or sell off after the main net. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, for Polkadex. Uh, I did drag out the video a bit. I do apologize. I did ramble on. But that's that's pretty much it for Polkadex, guys. We're waiting for $30. Uh, at that 1272 on the smaller FIB, and we're waiting for the $40 uh, price tag over here at the larger FIB, Fibonacci level one, the previous high.
over here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.